is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with sort of an update video on the office situation and everything going on like that man just wanted to touch in and get uh get everything going and show you guys a little bit of what i'm thinking here and everything like that if you guys were unaware i am in the middle of a move and i say in the middle of a move i did move like a month ago i think it was or maybe it was like three and a half weeks ago or something like that now coming up on a month or so like that right there and if anybody's ever been through a move you know how chaotic it is you know how insane it is and pretty much everything in the house is pretty much in order i'd say for the most part of course there's different projects and little things that we want to get done however some of those things you know they, they just take time with busy schedules and things like that and that kind of goes hand in hand with the office situation which is where i currently am right now if you guys are unaware or maybe you saw you know at the old house or maybe you're a new you know you, you're new to the channel if you're new to the channel well, welcome aboard but i'm in the middle of a move and so i'm transitioning offices in my collection and everything like that you guys have seen probably in about a four or five videos on the channel already or maybe less than that i can't even remember now between different aspects of social media there are boxes all over my office as you guys can see behind me and uh, I, I'm in a transition period where I'm trying to every single day trying to knock out a little bit at a time even if, if you know I, I just get one little thing done like moving a box over here unpacking a box here that I'm gonna take that as a W you know what I'm saying I'm gonna check that off and say you know what Brad I, I, I accomplished my goal for the day however I would like to get more things done and that's what this video is all about because I think I finally figured out exactly where I want everything to go and that's kind of been the biggest delay in trying to get everything in order. That and my insanely busy schedule at this time of life right now, this life period that we're in. It's insanity. It's absolute insanity. And so today I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I'm thinking. You guys can let me know down below what you guys think about that. And I think I figured out exactly what I want to do here. And we'll take you through that and showcase everything. However, the office is still a wreck and I look like I have been run over by seven trucks. Exactly seven trucks. So bear with me as we walk through, man. Hope you guys do enjoy. Let's shut the hell up and get into it. Now, I can't remember the last thing that I showed you guys, but some of these boxes have transitioned a little bit. We'll get into that, of course, but over here is the filming station still. I want to say I showed you guys this, uh, like I talked about how I had to take this table and then this other table over here. I had to take this big AF table here, this big AF table here, and I had to lug those up the stairs by myself at like 2 a.m. So sometimes you just got to carry the load yourself, you know what I'm saying, Brad? So we have, this is my current filming station. Now, will I leave the filming station here? Don't know just yet. Kind of a behind the scenes look there. Just a random bag of accessories here. So right now trying to find everything its place. Now, I don't think there's anything previewed right here, but I do believe we have a new action figure surgery coming tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. First surgery in the new house, big stuff. However, the second table is over here. And if you guys do not remember, if you guys remember, I think it was like a few videos ago, I was like, I can't find certain boxes, like I had lost a couple boxes amongst the move. This is one of the boxes that was missing. This is every AEW figure that I own outside of like a, of a handful. This is every single AEW loose figure I have. Of course, we do have men on card. I got a lot of men on card AEW, but this is the loose box full of AEW figures. Here's the new hook figure. So yeah, I did lose this box, but I ended up finding it. It was just chilling in a, in a random location. And then this box back here, same deal. It was the box of Rey Mysterio's and Eddie Guerrero's I was talking about. There's edges in there, Kevin Owens, New Day, different guys like that. Finally found that box as well. But I, I was happy to, I'm, I'm happy to report we did finally find that box. However, this is the second table. Now at the old office, I had two of these tables. I had this table, these are my JC Penny tables is what I call them because I got them at a, like going out of business sale at JC Pennies. I don't think I'm going to have them on opposite sides of the room like that. However, what I do know, and this is kind of what I figured out here that I think is going to make everything a lot more clear. This big back wall right here, this big back wall right here to here, this is probably the biggest wall in the room. You know, it's got no breakups, there's no windows, there's no doors on it. From wall to wall, I think I'm going to put big shelves. And I think I'm going to go floor to ceiling. I, I'm pretty sure this is just a standard height of a ceiling. I think I'm going to put white shelving that's not as thin as the old office. Gray walls thrown off my damn depth perception, especially on the camera, but maybe if I step back. I'm not going to do the little one inch thick shelving that I did and like go wall to wall. I think I'm going to do like stacked up shelves that have a back on them. And then I'm going to put like LED lighting on the tops and bottoms so that we, and I'll probably have it on pink most of the time, but have a remote control that I can actually control the lighting with. So you'll see like lighting underneath all the figures. And I think I'm going to have some depth there so that I can, I can actually put some accessories up there. I can actually display them and have them superstar by superstar lining the wall. I think that's what I want to do there. And I'm talking wall to wall. So I'm talking from that wall all the way over here, full of figures. Like this entire wall right here will be full 
full of WWE action figures with the white shelving. Kind of brightened it up a little bit. I think that'll play around with the lighting as well. You guys know the last shelving was black. And it kind of, I felt like it kind of threw off the depth perception and lighting in a lot of videos as well. But I think putting the white shelving in here, having uh, it thick. I, I'll try to plug in like an image of what I'm talking about. And I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll probably have to put some risers in there and stuff. You know, different levels of displays. I thought about doing just some different Ikea, you know, detoffs or something like that. But I feel like everybody kind of does the detoff thing. And I, I want it to look unique. I want it to be a little bit different. And I didn't want to do the exact same thing as my last office. That was a huge thing. Is I just wanted to change it up a little bit. Bring a new aesthetic to the collection and stuff like that. So this big wall back here will be completely full. I don't plan on hanging anything. It's going to be top to bottom, nothing but shelves. And I think that's what I want to do there. Now, outside of that, if I could get all of these. So if I were to do that, if I were to put all the figures on that wall, hopefully all of these boxes of WWE action figures, all these loose boxes, hopefully they will be completely empty. I hope to not have any figures in any boxes. Now, I do have like my loose bin full of WWE figures. Like if we come over here, you guys know you have the John Cena shelf. You have like a flashback shelf. Then you have more of like a combination like current day guys guys, but they're kind of like in flux, you know, they're kind of in limbo, they're not on TV all the time. You know, I can go to that shelf and I can grab them out, or just extra figures go in these bins right here. And then I have accessories and things of that nature as well. If I only had one box full of like loose figures, I would be okay with that, you know, just some extras. But for the most part, I want to get every single figure out of these boxes out on display. I want it up on display. That's just what, that's the goal. If I can do that, that will make me very happy. So hopefully that will be the case and we can get all these guys up there. Now as far as like AEW, Am I going to keep the AEW figures with the WWE? I don't know. You guys know in my old office, I did have its own section. WWE and AEW had its own sections. So I don't know what I'll do there. Here's the AEW figures again. I thought about putting those maybe over here on this wall, like a little conjunction right there where they like meet together. Or maybe on this wall, there'll be a little bit of, of space or something like that. But outside of this big wall, I need another spot to put the arena. And where I'm thinking about putting the arena is potentially from this wall coming down. And I may have to even like put something over the window or like kind of play around with this. I don't really care. Like I'm going to have this either blacked out or it's going to be completely covered with other shish. So maybe go over that and then put the arena from uh, maybe from where the window starts because the, the collect again, those white shelves are going to go all the way to the wall. Maybe put something over that window and then have the arena coming down here and then move the filming station over to this side of the room. Then that leaves where is the work desk computer and all that different stuff going to go. If you guys haven't noticed, the computer and stuff is actually downstairs. But whatever is not on the figure wall, like any Anything like my Dolph Ziggler plaques, this MDT sign that's massive and beautiful. And I also want to do my accent wall, and I'm thinking it's going to be this wall right here. So this wall back here, I think this wall I'm going to do pink zebra stripes. So like stuff like, like, like my Dolph Ziggler plaque here, I have that Dolph Ziggler like ring-worn hoodie. Stuff like that will go up on that wall. Hey look, we found some wild Elite 45 Seth Rollins just chilling in the wild. Look how beautiful. Even in this random aesthetic. Look at him right there. One of the best Mattels of all time. Need to make a video. Top 10 WWE Mattel figures of all time. Yep. We're absolutely doing it. All right, man, so here's the closet. There's the ring-worn hoodie. So I guess anything that doesn't go on display is going to come in here, man. It's a pretty good pretty good closet in here. Pretty good size and everything like that. Again, there's where the monsters reside. I think when I showed off the new office for the first time, we talked about that. And I just noticed I've never opened that. So that's good. That's good. It's literally open. Let's, uh... Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave. Now what's good about this though is now that I have a plan of attack, I think that's the biggest thing, man. When you have a plan and you can actually start executing the plan, I think things start to come together more. So now that I have a plan for all the loose figures, getting these boxes off the floor, getting these guys actually on display and up on the wall is going to be huge. And I think that's actually going to lead to getting more things done in here because after that is cleared out, then my head can go in other directions. So that is our first step is getting those shelves hung, getting these damn figures up on display so I can actually see what the hell is, where everything is, and then we can take the next step. However, I think that is pretty much going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, hopefully this plan goes smoothly. Hopefully we do get it figured out and all those different things. But the first step is going to be finding out how the hell I'm going to get those shelves. Going to have to do some research on exactly the brand and all those different things. But hopefully that won't take too much time. But anyways, that is going to wrap the video up. Wanted to give you guys an update video on the office and what the plan of attack is and everything like that. And I plan on bringing you along with it. You know, I, I want to put up the shelves and we're going to do a video on the display and showcasing it and the lighting and all those different things. So I think it'll come together 
there. I think, you know, most of the time, I'll probably run into some walls, unfortunately, but nothing's slowing me down, Brad. Before we get out of here, huge shout out to our patron supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. They will definitely get updates first when it comes to the shelving and stuff like that. They'll get little sneak peeks and stuff like that. I'll probably do, probably do like live streams and stuff like that, setting up the collection on the shelves and stuff like that. So that'll be really fun. But a huge shout out to our patron supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys. Check out the links in the description below if you guys are interested in something like that. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below if you have any ideas. I would greatly appreciate it. Always looking for suggestions and stuff for the collection. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you later.